Well, it's sad to see this. You know, it's very sad to see the exploitation of children. Very sad to see all of them wanting government to protect them and wanting government to take away guns. Wanting government to take away their rights. And when government does, well, they get angry. Florida students who begged government to take their rights away, now angry government took away their rights. Oh my God. Oh my God. They have no clue what they are doing. And unfortunately, they do get whipped up into a frenzy because adults with a lot of money, like George Clooney, threw an awful lot of money into this March for our rights, March for our rights by taking away our rights. Makes sense, doesn't it? But what do you expect from these from these children when the adults around them don't think, can't think properly? Do you think the children will be able to think properly? No. So in the land of the free, marching for change used to mean that you were standing up to the government to demand more or equal rights, but now, now what we do is stand up for the government to take away our rights. It's a hard time to be alive. So what happened? The Broward County School System announced its plan to violate the student's right to privacy by implementing a clear backpack policy. Clear backpacks are the only backpacks that will be permitted on campus. That coming from the school superintendent. And it was announced in a letter to parents. All students will have to allow anyone at any time to view the contents of their pack backpacks as well as wear, wear IDs so that they can be properly identified by school authorities. Well, you ask government to protect you, and this is what they came up with, so you should be happy, right? They're not. I'm not happy with it. Why are you punishing me for one person's actions? That coming from a Stoneman senior. She apparently was on CNN. But this is exactly what they wanted. These students wanted to punish the tens of millions of law-abiding gun owners by demanding the government take away their right to defend themselves, all for the actions of one person. Now, you're getting a taste of your own medicine. How does it feel? Well, it's unnecessary. It's embarrassing for a lot of the students, and it makes them feel isolated and separated from the rest of American school culture where they're having essentially their First Amendment rights infringed upon because they can't freely wear whatever backpack they want, regardless of what it is. Oh, that's coming from David Hogg. David Hogg, who has been exposed already as the mouthpiece of the establishment to get everybody fooled into thinking that he's just an ordinary student. Why can't people see through the obvious? Why can't people see the obvious? Why can't people see through the propaganda? So, yeah, for David Hogg, trampling on the Second Amendment is fine, but touch the first, which is upheld by the second, and you're a tyrant. One of, the, one of the other important things to realize is many students want their privacy. There are many, for example, females in our school that when they go through their menstrual cycle, 
They don't want people to see their tampons and stuff. Oh, David, you are so, so the guy, so sensitive to, uh, to females. Do you really think this kid cares? What we should have is just more policies that make sure that these students are feeling safe. Ah, what? Feeling safe? So, you take away automatic rifles from innocent, law-abiding citizens. You infringe on their Second Amendment right. So, American students feel safe, feel safe? Well, it's a feeling. It's not reality, because that will not make children safe. And David Hogg knows it. Until people really begin to think in this country, and stop allowing other people to think for them, we will get nowhere. We will just hand over to our quote-unquote rulers exactly what they want. More and more infringement upon our every right.